Well, welcome to another one. It's uh, it's that time of year again, and uh, I'm pumped up. Uh, tomorrow morning will be the first morning I get to go hunting. Season's been open for three days now, uh, but I work weekends. Of course, it opens up on a Saturday, so I had to sit back and watch everybody or look at everybody else's pictures. But now it's my turn to go. Uh, I'm in the shop getting everything ready, getting all my camera gear ready. I won't need any of my saddle stuff because we'll be in my lock on behind the house. Uh, I didn't go this morning, but I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for it because I had two, uh, they're two pretty nice deer. And since I'm, I'm using the recurve this year, uh, both of them are definitely within my specs of what I want to, want to get. One of them is definitely older than the other and I prefer to shoot him. Uh, but the other eight point I'll show, I'll drop a picture on here, but the other eight point is definitely well within my specs for the recurve. I have shot a deer with my recurve when I was like 14, shot a doe, but I've never shot a buck. And so, uh, no matter how big or small, it'll be my first book with my recurve. So I'm super excited. I've been practicing my tail off. I'm super confident 20 and in, anything past 20, uh, accuracy starts dropping off. So I prefer not to shoot past 20. Uh, I can't say I won't shoot about 25 yards or maybe even 30. I shot 30 a lot and I can shoot, I can shoot 30 pretty good at times. It's like probably 50, 50 at 30, but 25, it's more like a 75% chance. I would say. Preferably, we're going to try to stay 20 and in. That's that's my super lethal distance. But either way, uh, going behind the house in the morning. Got the two good deer showing up. I got another goofy four-point. Got a horde. It looks like a horn growing up out of the middle of his head. He's probably a three, four-year-old four-point. He just don't have any brow times or whatever. He just grows straight up. So if he shows up, he's definitely going to be taken out of the herd. But we got several options of deer behind the house. Uh, if they show up and come to where they're supposed to be, it's going to be about 18, 20 yard shot, which is definitely doable. But I'm pumped up and ready to go. I got all my stuff together, so uh, we'll be at it bright and early. We'll see y'all then. Well, we finally made it to the stand. <clears throat> Not without some struggles, though. <laughs> you can tell I haven't put all my camera gear and stuff on the tree in a while. So that was a little rough, but we made it. We're finally in here breaking daylight now uh, and my recurve here <clears throat> i got this little arrow keeper you know keep my hair from falling off knocking my first arrow and i'm sitting here and i bumped it with my elbow <laughs> my arrow fell off on the ground so i did it again and uh made sure i had everything on there you know good <laughs> it wasn't two minutes later i knocked it again <laughs> so i got two arrows on the ground i got two more in my quiver so uh, hopefully if we miss we only miss once so but i'm excited it's gonna be a pretty morning it's pretty cool the highs during the day right now are pretty high but at least the mornings are pretty pretty nice so fingers crossed first hit of the year i'm excited seen much of nothing. A bunch of birds, some ducks, some geese, all the normal things. Uh, actually have some turkeys still in the tree right here. They're clucking and whatnot. Probably about to fly down. <coughs> but the deer that I've been getting on camera has been showing up about 7.30 and it's right at 7 o'clock right now. So it's about that time where I gotta be alert. Mo. My neighbor over here is uh, throwing me a curveball this year. Let's see if you can see it. I got a big old food plot cut up, like right underneath my stand. And he actually has a row of corn planted right underneath me, but it didn't do good. And it probably won't make it, but <clears throat> that's going to had a challenge he's got three really big fields so uh, I think it's the sun that hunts so uh, we may be fighting over this spot from time to time obviously I can't shoot over there but that food plot's gonna if anything really might help me you know, hold deer in this area the side that I'm hunting is just all thick nasty like a 
old pasture has been, you know, regenerating by sweet gums and junk. So most of the deer don't want to travel through me. And uh, they might hit that food plot. It's a little bit in the daylight, but it's probably going to be mainly a nighttime spot. But it's a big old food plot. It'd be nice. I haven't cut mine up yet. There's no, it's been dry as a bone. There's no rain in the forecast. So I did plan on cutting it up this week because it's starting to get worse while I do on the ground. And <clears throat> when that starts, you sometimes you can throw seed on the ground. It can get, it can germinate just from the dew on the ground. So it's about time to do that. But it's been dry. So I haven't even put any effort into cutting the food plot up yet. But probably gonna stand up here and get alert and get ready because if they're gonna come in they're gonna come in here in just a minute so I'm already nervous just thinking about it <laughs> I've been fighting with myself whether or not I want to shoot there's a doe that's been out here every day the bucks only show up every now and then but does come out here every day I've been fighting whether or not I want to shoot it or not because the bucks normally show up after the does. So I'm scared I'll shoot the doe and spook the bucks off. So it's likely that I won't shoot a doe. Uh, me and Daddy's gonna hunt some public thirsty, so that'll be a doe spot. So we're gonna hunt. It's about that time, so we're gonna get settled in. Back in the saddle, as they say. A uh, little recap yesterday, we ended up not seeing anything, just a few turkeys. So, uh, we're back at it again. Uh, same spot, same tree. Um, <clears throat> feels a little bit cooler today, but I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, a cold front hits. Uh, me and Daddy will be uh, on some public tomorrow, but anyway, maybe that'll entice the deer to. Uh, Maybe get up and move a little bit more in the daytime. Uh, my two <clears throat> bigger shooters uh, did not show up last night, so I don't know if that was a good or is is a good or bad thing, but maybe it's a good thing. Maybe they'll get hungry this morning and come eat. Uh, so, fingers crossed, I guess. Got the cows moving and the sun's poking over the trees. Or it's getting daylight anyway, the sun's not poking up. Another beautiful day to be in a stand. So, <clears throat> just gonna sit back and relax, see what happens. <clears throat> I think the turkeys are up. <laughs> it ain't springtime, y'all shut up. As an avid turkey hunter, that gets you excited, even when it's not season. I missed it, but <clears throat> I got to going pretty hard, and the turkey gobbled, or the tom gobbled. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Never gets old, but we heard about a different animal today. So. But it's always fun to be around wildlife, regardless of whatever it is. Hearing them do their, do their thing and just being what they're meant to be. Pretty neat. Well, I won't bore you with all the uh, non-essentials, but I didn't see any deer this morning either. So, that's two days in a row that I didn't see much. Uh, chance of rain tomorrow and the next day. Not very much of a chance, but there is a chance which is more than what we've had in the past month because there hasn't been any chances. So, uh, I got the tractor, got Chunder, it's got the bush hog. We're going to bush hog all this junk because it's just old, you know, this was my food plot last year. It's just old and regenerated. Uh, I think it was probably about, it might even be a stretch to say it was a quarter an acre last year. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger this year. Uh, I'm gonna stretch it on kind of in this direction i gotta cut a few sweet gums down but that'll be able to i'll be able to stretch it another i don't know 50 60 yards that away 
but we'll get it bush hog i'm gonna get the tiller we'll till it up then we'll go to the store and uh get some uh, seed i think i'm just gonna do wheat and winter peas this year it's a simple it works uh relatively inexpensive really i mean feed wheat costs next to nothing and then australian peas or winter peas aren't very high either so uh we'll do that i normally get this big not big i normally get this big uh already mixed bag food plot mix it's like 50 bucks it's got a little bit of everything but i'm just gonna go with wheat and winter peas but anyway i'm gonna set up this tripod and we'll get this dude bush hogged and uh tilled up and then we'll plant it so let's do it I'm out of breath just climbing this tree uh me and rim just got done uh uh spreading seed on the food plot which is y'all can see turned out really good i made it a little bit bigger than i did last year last year it ended somewhere right in there so i added a kind of a loop and a little bit extra back there i'm trying to compete with my neighbor he's got a huge uh food plot so uh, I gotta keep them on my side of the fence. So here we are. Uh, it's dirt. It's a little bit of a, we're dirty. We're dusty. It is incredibly dry. We haven't had rain in what seems. I don't say it's been at least a month. Feels like a month and a half. But we have chances of rain for tomorrow and the next day. So I had no intentions on doing this today. Uh, but I listened to the radio. I was like, hey, it's got chances of rain for the next two days. So I'm like, well, mine's well, right? But uh. We've hunted here the last two days, haven't seen anything. The wind hasn't been perfect, but we should have been able to see some deer. I don't know why we didn't, but either way, since we've been in here and boogering and stuff, we're gonna leave it alone tomorrow. And I, I work this weekend, so I won't be here this weekend, but we'll probably sit out here a few more times next week. Uh, let the deer kind of settle in. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna hit some public land, me and Pop, uh, get in some new new ground. It's a bow only, which it don't really matter. It's bow everywhere right now, but it is a, a bow only year round. So a pretty good spot i didn't hunt early last year i only hunted it first time i hunted it was late last year i started hunting it basically around the rut but anyway we're gonna give it a shot my cousin actually shot one there uh opening day so uh there's definitely deer there and there's some good bucks in there because i killed a good buck in there last year so either way that'd be it for today hope y'all enjoyed it we'll catch y'all on the next one peace out